Hey everybody, this is Randy Brown for Vlogging with Mr. Brown. Uh, I just wanted to give an update. Not doing too well on the weight situation. Uh, unfortunately, got good news and bad news. Good news is, I've been maintaining. I haven't gained any excess weight. Bad news is, maintaining is not my goal. Uh, my, gain, my goal was to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. I don't think I'm going to do that. It doesn't really matter. But uh, what I'd like to talk about today is uh, how I got the name Random Randy in college. Now, uh, anybody who knows me knows I love NLP. I love it. Neurolinguistic programming has done so much for my life. I use it every day on a daily basis all the time. And uh, when I was in college, I used to use this thing known as pattern interrupt. Now, you know how, like, somebody was, like, going on and on and on and talking about something, and then, you know, the phone rings, or, you know, somebody comes over and says something, and they think, whoa, what was I talking about? I can't remember what I was talking about. That is a pattern interrupt. When something breaks your train of thought and you can't remember what you were talking about, that's known as a pattern interrupt. I was the king of pattern interrupts in college. Uh... When I was taking animation at Collins College in Tempe, Arizona, um, there were two students uh, who uh, I will name Lewis and Gary. Uh, Lewis was a macho asshole type. Uh, he was He's the typical guy who would go into a bar and insult everybody and hit on the girls and you know, call the girl's name and they would go home with them. He was like a real amog macho like military type. And then Gary was a diehard Star Wars man. And like he lived, ate, breathed, and slept Star Wars. You go into his room, he has posters all over his wall for Star Wars. And not only does he have every version of Star Wars uh that was ever made. Like he's got the uh the original George Lucas cuts, he's got uh the special editions uh, he has the 3D versions, he's got the prequels, the sequels, everything that's out right now, he's got, and he's got them in all formats. He's got them on Blu-ray, VHS, DVD, he's got them on freaking Laserdisc. So, Gary and Lewis would get into it all the time during class. You know, like, Lewis would say one of his dumbass comments, and then Gary would be like, well, I think you're a doofus, you know, something really lame or weak like that. And they would just go at it, bam, 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 back and forth. And they would annoy the whole class with their little banter because they were speaking across the class to each other. You know, like, uh, like Lewis was in the West End corner and Gary was in the East End corner. So they were talking really loud and they would always bother us, you know. So what I decided to do is I decided to employ a pattern interrupt. So, you know... Lewis and Gary would be going at it, saying all sorts of stupid things. Then I would just look up in the air, shake my head, and I'd be like, you know, I really like brownies, you guys. And they'd be like, what? What are you talking about? I'd be like, you know, I'm really craving a brownie right now. Is there any place to get brownies around here? Now, again... I did this tons of times during college, and here's what happened. After I said that, Lewis and Gary stopped putting their attention on each other, and for about 30 to 40 seconds, they put their attention on me. They're like, what does that have to do with the conversation, Randy? What does that have to do? Here's the thing. Nothing. But you know what else? Guess what? After I interrupted their pattern, guess who wasn't fighting anymore? Lewis and Gary stopped fighting. And I did this all the time, and it worked. And, you know, a pattern interrupt can just be something totally random. It could be gross. It could be... It's, it's just a comment that, you know, derails their current train of thought. And, you know, it could be something as simple as a phone ring. You know, like, maybe you could, like, get your phone out and like, call the landline, and they answer the phone. It's like, oh, nobody on the phone. Hang it up. Or it could just be a simple comment, you know, like, I like brownies, or, uh, what do you think about Bugs Bunny when he dresses up as a girl bunny? Or, oh, hey, you know what? I think it's tea time right now. I think we need some tea, you know? 
Gary, you want to go get me some tea? I'm like, what are you talking about, Randy? You're random. You're random Randy. So, in actuality, I wasn't being random. In actuality, I had a planned purpose for saying what I was saying, which is to stop them from fighting, you know? And when somebody's freaking out, you just got to say something weird sometimes. And, you know, if they say, well, that, that's really weird. Why did you say that? You just brush it off say, I don't know. So let's get back to what we were talking about. And there you go. Yeah, It's simple, easy. It's a cool NLP technique. I've been using it for years to great effect. Uh, and that's why they call me Random Randy. You know, and... My favorite pa pattern interrupt was, gee, you know, you guys, I really like brownies. You know? And they stop fighting. And it's a, it's a terrific conflict uh, conflict resolution thing. And uh, it's little known. I would assume less than 1% of the population knows about pattern interrupts. But guess what? This is vlogging with Mr. Brown. You now have a pattern interrupt. And, uh, I think, I think I like some brownies, okay? All right, I will see you, Quattro. All right, bye.